Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you could tell by the title of the video, today is a brand overview video and MAC Cosmetics is on the judging table. I will basically put every single product that I have from the brand on my face and tell you my thoughts and whether I think the products are worth your money. Okay, so if you want to see if MAC still has it going on after all these years, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, hair is behind the ears. Let's dive right in. I don't own a primer for MAC Cosmetics. I've been wanting to purchase one. I just haven't pulled the plug just yet. But we are going to use a tiny bit of MAC Fix Plus. I feel like this has been a staple in so many people's makeup routines for years now. Geez, high school, was it high school when I first started hearing about MAC Cosmetics? About MAC Cosmetics, I think it was, I was a freshman. Um, so that's what, 15, 16 years old? I'm 35 now. That's 20 years ago. Holy guacamole. Wow. Um, I do remember that powder foundation being very popular at school. I'm going to apply a tiny bit of this just to kind of prep the skin a little bit. I do have another one, but I'm going to let that, that sink into my skin. Okay, the base product we're going to use today is this MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body Radiant Sheer Foundation. <laughs> A uh, long, long name. It retails for $39 and it's available in 30 different shades. I purchased the shade. What is it? Okay, the shade is C3. For some reason, I thought it was the same like shade range as the Fluid Foundation, which I never purchased. I knew that I wasn't going to like it all that much just because it is a pretty much full coverage foundation. By the way, my husband is removing snow from the the um, roof. So if you hear noise, that's what it is. Okay, so here is the consistency of the foundation. And I, if I do remember correctly, because it's been a while since I've used this, it's a pretty sheer coverage. I would say it's closer to like a skin tint, but I did truly enjoy it. I felt like I loved my skin looking very um, natural and just like my skin but better and yeah it's like it's hydrating you can tell because the brush feels wet when you start blending it so as you could tell it's a very very sheer light coverage so if you don't like this this is probably not the product for you okay and here is what that is looking like i forgot how much i love this it's so pretty it evens out my skin it doesn't look like i have anything on it's just so pretty i did go into primers before going in with the mac fix plus i went into the danessa myricks balm in the universal shade and i went into the elf um power grip primer with the niacinamide and so far this is laying down beautifully okay i did not own a concealer from mac cosmetics so i actually did purchase one when i placed an order from ulta i want to say it's been a month now and i purchased the one in the little pot it's the studio finish concealer with spf 35 which is great i didn't want to um purchase the one that comes in a little tube like this just because I felt like maybe it would be too full coverage. And from the reviews that I remember seeing, I do remember people stating that it's a very full coverage concealer. And I feel like I could probably control a tiny bit better with this little pop thing. So I purchased the shade NC25. It comes in 14 different shades and it retails for $26. So this is my very first time trying this out and we'll see if I like it or not. Okay, so I'm going to use my Vive 119 concealer brush and let's go ahead and swatch it. Okay, feels pretty emollient. 
hopefully this shade isn't too light i don't think it's going to be i'm just going to dip right in with my brush and i'm going to start off lightly mm, i think i probably could have gone with nc30 Honestly, I feel like my shade could be NC40 for the foundation. I maybe could have gone one shade darker for this, but it's all right. Um, that's my bad. Okay, so I definitely feel like you can sheer it out, which is why I chose this one versus the liquid. It feels lightweight. Almost like I'm putting a very light under eye cream, which is nice. Okay, so here is what the complexion is looking like. And I'm loving it. I love how you can really make this concealer very light coverage. Or you could probably build it up right where I have it. I feel is absolutely perfect. Okay, so I don't have a cream bronzer or cream contour from MAC Cosmetics. I do have a powder bronzer, which I'll be using, and I don't have a powder that I can use for my under eyes from MAC Cosmetics, but I do have a powder for the whole face. So let me add a tiny bit of cream contour and bronzer, and I'll be back. Okay, real quick what I applied off camera for the bronzer and contour. I used the Fenty in Amber and this Glossier Solar Paint in Flare. And for the under eyes, I used the Kosas powder in the shade Comfy. And now we're going to jump into the powder foundation. Okay, so I got a sample of, was it foundations? It was like a base kind of sample from Ulta. Jeez, it was what? maybe six months ago and they did send this little sample of the studio fix powder plus foundation nc40 is the shade and i think it's a really good shade and this is what it looks like it did have oh here it is the little puff thing which i don't use and then here is the sample this um, powder foundation retails for 39 dollars and it looks like it's available in 48 different shades i remember this being so popular and i mean so popular we're going to use this morphe and ariel 821 um everybody and their mama used to wear this <laughs> and it's a nice powder. It definitely does blur the skin a tiny bit. I'm not using it as a powder foundation. I'm using it more as a setting powder for today. But I feel since we have the Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation, which is a very lightweight foundation, I think the mix between this powder foundation and that is actually nice. So I'm not adding like a ton of more coverage on top of the already full coverage foundation. So I think this is the third time I've used this and I actually do really enjoy it. I think it leaves my skin looking pretty almost flawless like airbrushed in a way so so far i'm enjoying the sample and if i finish this and i still end up enjoying it by the time i'm done with the sample i might pick up a full size but it's really 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 pretty okay now we're going to jump into bronzer by the way this powder foundation it it did add a tiny bit oh i have a hair almost went into my eye <laughs> It did add a tiny bit of extra coverage, so I definitely wouldn't suggest to use it with like a full coverage foundation just because I feel like it can make your makeup look a tiny bit heavy. Okay, now we're going to jump into some powder bronzer, and this is just the MAC Cosmetics Bronzing Powder. It originally retails for $31, but it looks like it's on sale for $18.60 on the Ulta website, and it looks like there's only four different shades available. I have the shade golden and I do feel like it has a tiny bit of radiance so if you don't like that you won't like it and I also feel like the shades they're like buildable kinds of shades the formula is a very buildable formula and um, if you don't like that you might not like it I'm jumping into a Morphe and Ariel A 
3.2. I chose like a little bit of a smaller brush because I really want to concentrate it rather than using a fluffy brush because like I said, this is a formula that you do have to build up a tiny bit that are probably just got a shade that's a tiny bit too light for me. But honestly, it was hard to pick a shade when I purchased this. Um, I purchased most of this MAC Cosmetics makeup when they were having a sale. Jeez, I want to say it was over a year ago. And it was just hard to pick shades for me. So um, I feel like I just went a tiny bit too light with this bronzer, but it's a pretty one. I don't mind buildable formulas because then I have more control over the pigment and how it looks. And I do like the fact that it just have the tiniest amount of natural sheen to it. It just makes it look very pretty and like slightly glowy. I enjoy it. Okie dokie, now we're going to move on to eyes. I did use my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. It's almost like a very long-lasting creamy eyeshadow, but like most people, the more nude shades are used like as an eye base and it works really well. It retails for $25 and here at Ulta, there's 15 shades available, but I'm pretty sure on the actual MAC website, there's some more shades available. This is my second one, but I did have to replace it because the other one was dried out. I've been wanting to try other shades, but I just don't use it enough and I would have to replace it because it dries out, which I dislike. Okay, now we're going to jump into eyes. So I own only three eyeshadow palettes from MAC Cosmetics. I've been wanting to change that, maybe add a couple of more, but I just haven't seen anything that catches my eye. I know they recently did the Whitney Houston collaboration. Was it the Whitney Houston? Yeah, and then also the, um, the Panther, the Black Panther, but those just didn't call my attention. So I own this one, the um, Eau Couture, starring Rosalia, and I believe that she is a rapper from Spain. So it was a little collaboration they did with her. I also own this one, which is the Art Library Flame Buoyant Palette. It's like a warm tone kind of palette. And the MAC Cosmetics, this is the um, one of, uh, I think it was the year of the tiger, maybe last year. So I'm just going to create a quick eye look and I might use one, I might use two or all three palettes. Sonia G Crease Brush. Morphe and Ariel A20. BK Beauty 204. Ofra pencil brush. Okay, so as you saw, I used all three palettes. <laughs> Um, this one I purchased because Tati Westbrook did like a huge declutter of all of her eyeshadow palettes and this is one of the ones that she kept. I do enjoy this palette. I think it's nice. The shades are pigmented. I just feel like the mattes are the tiniest bit chalky. Not too much, just a tiny bit. So because I really enjoyed this one, I decided to purchase this one when they announced this collaboration with Miss, uh, Rosalia. I forget the last name. Like I said, she is a Spanish rapper and this is what the palette looks like. These mattes are different from this palette. These are more creamy, just they feel more soft, almost like you are touching a moussey airy formula. 
but um, they run so light. Uh, if you are darker than me, I don't think you can use this at all because half of these matte shades barely show up on my eyelid. But the shimmers, the shimmers kind of redeem this palette. The shimmers in this palette are absolutely excellent and do not compare to the other MAC cosmetic palettes that I have here. This one here I purchased because I enjoyed this one so much, but the formula is not the same. The mattes in here are not like either of these other palettes and neither are the shimmers. So this one so far has been the biggest disappointment from the MAC cosmetic palettes that I have. But as you could see, I created a very beautiful eye look. Okay, now we're going to jump into some mascara and this is the Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. So I actually purchased this because of Jaclyn Hill, Miss Influencer who loves to be in all the trauma. <laughs> yeah, she recommended this one for the lower lashes. She only uses it for the lower lashes, but one day I decided just to go ahead and use it on my upper lashes and it actually works beautifully. I do want to try the MAC Stack Mascara, one of the newest ones that they have released. Um, I just want to make sure that I use this one up first before I buy that one, but I do enjoy this one and um, yeah, I'm glad I purchased it. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Okay, I don't have any brow products from MAC Cosmetics. If you do and you've tried them, let me know how they are. Okay, I did go in to a tiny bit of cream blush. This is Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. And now we're going to jump in to the um, blush. This is the Mineralize Blush. And it retails for $33. And there is 10 shades available. I have it in Like Me, Love Me, which is kind of a peachy shade. And that's why I used a cream blush beforehand just because I didn't want pure peach. It's a very pretty blush. I do want to buy one of like that one that look like the putty consistency um, but I just I have so many blushes that honestly I don't need to buy anymore. This is really pretty. I like to use a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe and Ariel A22 because it does have some sheen in there and um, I don't want it to be too extreme, but it's a really pretty one. I've been enjoying this blush a lot. Okay, before I set my eyebrows with brow gel, which I don't own one for MAC Cosmetics, um, let's put on some highlight. And I own two different highlighters. This one was special edition Lunar Lights Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlighter. Oh, is it broken? No, it's not. Okay. This one was part of the um, Year of the Tiger collection. That's what it looks like. And I do own one of the Mineralize Skin Finish Highlight Face Powder. So this is called a face powder, but I use this as a highlighter. I don't think this is a face powder. Maybe if they're trying for it to be like the hourglass. Anywho, this retails for $40. Holy shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> And there's only three shades available. I have it in soft and gentle. So actually let's use both of these highlighters. That's what it looks like. As you could tell, it has shimmer in there. So I don't know how they're saying this is a, I haven't tried it as a full face powder like the Hourglass. Um, if you have, let me know. So soft and gentle is going over on this cheek over here and I'm going very light because I feel like this can go very overboard. It's a very pretty highlight. It does melt into your skin. I do enjoy this highlight. I think it's a very pretty one. Okay, I'm wiping my brush and now we're going to jump in to the special edition one. Lunar Lights I think is the name of the shade and I think only one shade Maybe two were available with this collection. But I do feel like this one's a tiny bit more icy. A little bit more on the gold side, which I'm not huge on gold highlight, but some of them I can make work to where I don't dislike it. It's also a pretty formula and I do feel like it kind of melts into your skin. Not as good as this one, but it's still a pretty one. Okay, next. 
thing is lips and I actually own quite a bit of lipsticks from MAC Cosmetics. Gosh, what is the very first? The very first lipstick I got it on one of the sales that Ulta has, the 21 days of sales and it's like a nude shade. I forget um, Honey Love is the name and I loved it so much that I decided that I wanted to invest in more MAC lipsticks. So whenever I get the chance, I purchase some. I don't remember the total, but I did do a video of my top lipstick formulas and MAC Cosmetics is on that list. I'll see if I can find it and I'll go ahead and link it down below. I do have a lip liner and Strip Down is the name of the lip liner I have. They retail for $21 and there is 19 shades available. I actually got this one specifically specifically because uh, Brianna Fox uses this a lot or like it's one of the lip liners that she uses a lot and that's why I purchased it and I actually do enjoy it. It's a little bit more of like a warm tone kind of nude so I'm trying to find the perfect nude kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. So if you have a favorite lip liner that reminds you of Iconic Nude, let me know down below. So you can see it's like the perfect warm tone nude. Okay, I'm going to go in to a MAC lipstick and this is one of the new Lustre Glass lipsticks. So this is, I feel, a new formula they came out with probably about two years ago. And this one is called Thanks It's MAC. I forget who used this on their channel and I love loved how it looked on them and that's why I purchased it and it's actually a very pretty pretty shade. I love this formula I would say. This is probably my favorite formula from MAC Cosmetics because it's a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip balm and it just it's so nice. Glides on beautifully. It provides enough pigment but it almost looks like you have a tiny bit of gloss on. I don't own any lip glosses from MAC Cosmetics and I'm sure I sound like a broken record, but I don't like lip glosses and I don't, I don't purchase them often, so yeah. Okay, so here is the full face of MAC Cosmetics. Well, almost a full face, minus a few products. I guess we'll put some setting spray just because of the video. MAC Fix Plus. Still a staple, I feel like, in a lot of people's makeup collection, that is. Okay, and here it is. I think it came out very, very pretty. I don't own any eyeliners from MAC Cosmetics. I very rarely wear eyeliner, and if I do, it's usually on the waterline and to tight line. Okay, so yeah, here it is. I think my makeup looks very pretty. So, 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 so pretty. So, so good. I feel like MAC Cosmetics is that staple brand that a lot of people still love. It's just not being talked about. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would definitely have to say the products that I would recommend the least out of MAC Cosmetics is going to be the palettes, just because it's hit or miss. I wish the formula was the same all throughout, and just with th these three palettes, these are the only three palettes I own from MAC Cosmetics, I feel like every formula in each palette is different. So I wish they would just stick to one formula and keep it the same throughout because I feel like it's just hit or miss and that is why I haven't purchased any of the new launches that they had to offer because I'm scared that it's going to be one of the formulas that I'm just like eh, I don't really like this formula <laughs> but everything else I do really enjoy I would love to know what your favorite MAC cosmetics products are and if you still use the brand because I feel like it's still a very good stable brand and I love that they offer something for everyone everyone like they have the full coverage foundation but then they also have like this this face and body almost sheer foundation uh, I think they have a couple of other formulas in their line and they also offer like the pot concealer and then the liquid concealer and I feel for blushes they also offer different finishes different formulas same with the highlighters but powders they have the powder foundation and I think they have the mineralized powder as well like I just love the variety and the fact that it caters to different kinds of people because not everybody loves full coverage and not everybody loves light coverage. So 
I truly think that MAC Cosmetics is still that brand. It's just not being talked about. I don't know. Let me know if you agree or disagree. We're all adults here and we can have a good discussion down below. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I had so much fun filming it. It was nice sticking into my collection and finding all of my MAC products. I love doing these like brand overview videos. Um, they're, they're actually fun. I'm enjoying that I'm doing this. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You all have no idea. All the comments, all the likes. If you use my links, it all means the world to me. Okay. Well, with that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already i would love it if you joined my small youtube family by clicking the subscribe button i would love to have you okay i will see you on the next video bye